In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this flicker effect. To get started, I just added a video and audio clip to my timeline that I'd like to add the effect to. Let's begin by going over to the effects library. In the toolbox under generators, drag the solid color above your video on the timeline. By default, it'll be black. And I'm just going to click this toggle under video 2 to hide my black solid color layer for a moment so I can see my footage below. Position the time marker to where you want your flicker effect to start. I'm going to put mine where the beat comes in. Drag the solid color layer to the time marker's position. Then move the time marker to where you want your flicker effect to end. Drag the very end of your solid color to change its duration to line up with the time that's position. Next, position the time marker at the start of your solid color clip and zoom into it using the slider. Press or right arrow key once on your keyboard to move the time marker forward one frame. Using the blade tool, make a cut at the time marker's position. Now just keep using the right arrow key to move the time marker forward one frame and make a cut at each position until you've reached the end of your solid color clip. If you zoom in enough, you should be able to make one frame cuts without moving the time marker. Once you're finished, reselect the selection tool. While holding down the control key on your keyboard, select every other cutout frame. Then just hit the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of half the frames. Now under video 2, retoggle the hide button to make your solid black color frames visible. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking flicker effect. Keep in mind that you could flicker video footage instead of a black color, just drag the footage onto the track above your main video and cut out every other frame like I did with a black one. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.